guys, it's Jackie and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to show you guys some new products from e.l.f. Cosmetics. I'm a huge fan of e.l.f. Cosmetics because not only are they cruelty free, they're vegan, they're drugstore, which means they're super affordable and they're great quality. So I am so excited to try out these products. We have a ton of highlighters here. These are all highlighters. And then we have some lip stuff, some eyeshadow palettes and little baked trio eyeshadows. So. We got some fun stuff. So if you're interested in finding out how these work and apply and all that good stuff, then just keep on watching. But before we jump into the video, if you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Jackie, or you can call me Jack Jack, whichever you like best. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button and the little bell so you won't miss out on any upcoming videos and that officially makes you part of the Little Flower family. Yay! Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the video. So to start off, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows and I'm just using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Carmel. This is what I've been using for a while now and it's just super, super easy so I'm just going to fill them in, brush it out with a spoolie and bada bing bada boom, our brows are done. Next, moving on to the eyes, I'm going to prime my eyelids with the Kat Von D High Voltage Eyeshadow Primer. This is my favorite, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this on my lid and then we can get started with the eyeshadows from e.l.f. Cosmetics. different eyeshadow palettes and little trios from e.l.f. Cosmetics so I'm not sure exactly which one I want to use. I feel like I want to try to dip my brush into a little bit of all of them. So here's the first one. This is the Smoky Matte Palette. This actually looks like a face palette so we have three little eyeshadows right here and this looks like a blush and bronzer duo and then we have some creamy lip products right here. So that's pretty cool. You got a little face palette right here. And then I have this um, Mad for Matte 2 palette, which looks like this. The colors look so, so pretty in this palette. I actually posted a picture of this palette on Instagram, and you guys wanted to see a tutorial using this, so I definitely want to use some of the colors from here. I'm eyeballing this purple color over here. It's so pretty. And I also have some Baked Trio eyeshadows. This one is in Brown Bonanza, and this one is in Peach Please. Peach seems to be a trend with cosmetics companies right now because first Too Faced Cosmetics came out with the Sweet Peach Collection and then Kylie released the Royal Peach Palette and then we have Peach Please. I don't know what kind of eyeshadow look I want to do. I want to do, I want to do. So let's start off by just doing some swatches. I'm not going to do swatches of like every shadow here but let's just see kind of the quality and pigmentation of each product. So um, let's go ahead and try out the peach please and I'll just swatch them on my hand. This peach color right here. So it's like rays, it's like a dome shape eyeshadow. I love these. Ooh, that's a really pretty shimmery peach color which I don't think it is going to pick up on camera. Maybe you can see it a little bit. Oh, there we go, when I go like that. This would be so pretty as a wash of color on the lid or um, a highlight on the inner corner. That'd be really pretty. And then let's see this light shade over here. Oh, that's like a pretty banana shade. And then lastly, we have this brown shade. This reminds me of, um, what's it called? Napoleon ice cream, babe, is that what it's called? When it has all three flavors. That's what this reminds me of. Let's check out the shadows in this face palette, the Smoky Matte. So we have like these light kind of lilac lavender shades right here. Oh, they're so soft. Oh wow, these are really soft. Where is it? That's pretty. Let's check out the black. Black is always a tricky color. So this is more of like a gray black. It's not like extremely pigmented, but I mean, it's buildable. It's buildable. Let's check out these lip colors though. Let's see this one. Oh, so creamy. Oh, wow. Oh, that's pretty. A nice little gloss. Check out this palette right here. You know the first color I'm going to touch is this purple one. Ooh. Look at this. Oh. I love it. I love it already. Let's see this black in comparison. The black in this palette. It actually seems a little darker and more pigmented. Look, I don't know if you can tell by the two different blacks. So this is the black that's in this um, Mad for Matte 2 palette. So 
enough talking let's get started with this eyeshadow look i'm gonna first start off by taking this shade right here which is just a kind of caramel brown shade and i'm gonna sweep this into my crease to add a little bit of color and definition with another blending brush i'm gonna take this kind of salmon pink shade right here and i'm gonna blend this in the crease first starting off in the outer corner but then i'm going to drag it in towards the inner corner of my crease so far, these eyeshadows, they're not terrible. They have great color payoff, but they're not the easiest to blend with. So you might have to use a little extra elbow grease when blending out these shades. But I do like that they are buildable. So if you apply it at first and you find that it's not as bright and pigmented and bold as you'd like it, you can definitely go back and build that color. So I, I do like that about these shadows. Going back in with that first shade, I'm just going to blend that above the crease color just to uh, really encourage all the colors to blend together nicely. Uh, now I'm going to take the purple shade and work this on the outer V of my eye. And I'm just going to take a standard fluffy blending brush to do that. By the way, I love that there is a big long mirror in this palette. It's so perfect for like working up close with your eyeshadow looks. I love it. So with this purple shade, I'm keeping it right here on the outer corner and I'm blending it a little into the crease but I'm not going past the pupil of my eye. So we're just keeping this color right here but I'm going back and forth to blend it out. And I'm kind of flicking my brush upwards so that it kind of creates a subtle like kind of cat eye look. And that's just going to give the appearance of a more lifted eye with your eyeshadow look without being too harsh. Ta-da! Okay, so for the lid, I think I want to try to play around with the Peach Please Baked Eyeshadow Trio. So let me grab a flat brush real quick. I'm going to take this pink shade right here. I'm just going to pop this on the lid. It has like a very pretty sheer iridescence. These baked shadows don't, well, I mean at least this color doesn't seem super bright and pigmented. But it is pretty. It has like that very soft, innocent, sheer glow. I don't know why it reminds me of a fairy. Huh. Like Tinkerbell or something. Like pixie dust. That's what it reminds me of. It's just so soft and subtle. And then to highlight my brow bone, I'm going to take the creamy like banana shade in here and pop that right here. So I like to place the highlight color right under my arch at first and then I'll go in with my fluffy blending brush, the one I used for the transition color and just kind of soften it like so. So for eyeliner, I'm going to go ahead and use the Tarte Clay Pot in the shade Black and then a bent eyeliner brush like this to create my usual winged liner. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then we can finish up with some lashes. liner on there's actually this product from elf called the makeup remover pen I've never heard of anything like this but I wanted to try it out and see how it does with cleaning up my eyeliner because it is a little crooked and I messed up on this side so ow, 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 I hurt myself and that's another reason why I wanted to start on the eyes and not have any face makeup on so that way I could try this out without it ruining like my foundation and stuff I'm just gonna do this feels really dry did I get like a, a dud Okay, okay, I kind of see a little bit of product coming off. Okay, let's give this a try. Ready? Let's see how it does. Oh, hello, that was not that bad. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. I really like that. Oh my gosh. My eyeliner looks a little more even now. You guys need to get this. This is cool. I mean, I'm sure you can achieve the same effect with a Q-tip and like some makeup remover, but 
that was pretty cool. I like this. So for mascara, I'm just going to do a few coats of the Wet n Wild Lash Renegade Mascara. Another great cruelty-free drugstore affordable brand that you guys can check out. I did do a video on this last week sharing the new products Wet n Wild was coming out with. So if you missed that, I'll leave it linked in the cards for you guys. I'm going to pop on some lashes. These are the Kiss Blooming Lashes in the shade, or in the shade, in the style Daisy. So I haven't worn these yet, so I might have to, no, I will have to trim them down to match my tiny little eyes. I'm going to use the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive to apply this. lashes they're so pretty moving on to the face there is this new product called the prep and hydrate balm from elf that I am really excited to try out it says this clear cooling balm helps hydrate and prep skin for makeup application enriched with purified water shea and vitamin E to help nourish and moisturize great for daily use and can be used on areas such as face hands elbows and knees so it says to apply on the face in a circular circular motion Prior to makeup application, blend in if necessary, follow with your favorite foundation. Circular motion, ooh. This is like a lot more watery than I thought it was going to be. My skin feels wet. Blend in if necessary. This feels a little heavy on the skin. I mean, I have dry skin, so I like it, but I can imagine people with like normal or combination skin or I mean oily skin probably won't like this. It does feel a little bit on the heavy side. I'm definitely going to keep trying this out and I will keep you guys updated on how I like it because this is pretty first impression pretty cool. I like it. I'm going to use the e.l.f. sponge. It They have these new precision precision sponges and I actually mentioned this in a video I did with Serene that I didn't actually like this but I'm gonna give it another try and try it out today so let's go ahead and apply foundation this is the wet n wild photo focus foundation that I'm using sometimes I like to mix a darker shade because this is a tiny bit too light but it's okay <laughs> So with the Wet n Wild foundation, I actually have noticed that I prefer to have two coats of this foundation on. I just like the way it looks and wears a lot better. So I'm going to go ahead and add another layer. Using this sponge again, it's not terrible. It really isn't terrible. I just don't, I don't know. There's just something about it that I'm not crazy about, but I can't put my finger on what it is. Maybe it's like it's too dense for me. It's not as fluffy. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. For concealer, I'm going to mix in a little bit of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer and the Tarte Shape Cake Shape Shape no, 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 no. the Sharp no. <laughs> the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This one is too dark for me. This one is too light for me. Together, they make the perfect pair. now but I'm gonna set all that with the wet n wild photo focus pressed powder foundation and then we can warm up the face to bring some life back to my ghost like complexion to finish up under the eyes I am gonna go in with the same palette and I think I'm gonna take I think I'm gonna take the purple color and drag that onto the lower lash line and kind of just smoke it out do that I've noticed that I always do that so when I'm adding color on the outer corner I'll move my brush but then when I want to go towards the center of my eye I just move my head and I keep my brush still does anyone else do that with the elf eyeliner shadow stick in the shade black I'm going to just line up my waterline and then of course finish off the lower lashes with some more mascara 
So for bronzers and highlights, we have a few different things. Um, we actually have a ton of highlighters, but for like blush and bronzer, I think I might use the two that are in this smoky matte face palette. So that's what I'm going to use for a blush and bronzer, but I'm going to use a lot of highlighter because I want to try all of these out. So we have three of the HD highlighting powders. We have Starlight Glow, which looks like that. Oh, so pretty. Next, we have Bronzed Glow. And then this one is Sunset Glow. And then I have the Illuminating Palette from e.l.f., which has all four of these gorgeous shades. Ah. And then we have a baked highlighter. This is in Blush Gems. Let's start by adding some bronzer. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit of this. It's scary because this bronzer is right next to the black eyeshadow. So if you like accidentally pick that up and then start working at your face, you're going to have black eyeshadow on your cheeks. Okay, okay. I like it. I wasn't expecting to like it, but I like it. We got to warm up this face a lot, man. I really do look like a ghost right now. Look at how pretty that is. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He's so pretty. Then I just like to add a little bit of warmth around my nose as well. Slight contouring, but more just to kind of balance out all the warmth around my face. Ta-da, like that. I like that, that's really pretty. Let's see how the blush is. I'm just gonna use the same brush and pick up the blush on here. Ooh, it looks super pigmented. This is so pretty. Oops, I added a little too much there. Oh my god, I added way too much here. I got a little carried away. Ah, blend! Ah. Gotta blend the sucker out. There we go. Much better, much better. Let's start having some fun with these highlighters. Oh, I'm so excited. I think I want to try this peachy one, the Sunset Glow. Ooh, hello, hello. My camera battery just died, so I'm back now. But where were we? We were applying Sunset Glow onto the cheekbones, so. I wish, I mean, this is a gorgeous highlight, but I wish it was a little more golden. It has, I find that it has like a little more silver kind of undertones. I wish it was a little more golden. I actually want to go in and try the bronzed glow. Let's see, let's dust a little bit of that on. Ooh, I like that too. I put too much on the tip of my nose. Now my, the tip of my nose looks brown. Oh no, I put too much. <laughs> Let's go back to Sunset Glow. Cupid's bow. Can you tell I'm filming this really late? That's why I'm like acting a little crazy right now. So I'm gonna try out the Illuminating Palette here. Let's take this shade right here and put this as the inner corner highlight. That's pretty. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, last but not least, we have the lips. And I have two products here from e.l.f. that I want to try out. You know what? I think I'm just going to try them both and mix them together. We have the e.l.f. Aqua Beauty Radiant Gel Lip Tint in the shade Pink Splash. And then we also have the e.l.f. Velvet Matte Lipstick in Bold Berry. So I'm going to try both of these together. And let's see, let's see what we come up with. A gel lip tint. This is interesting. I wonder if it's going to be like more sheer or opaque. Let's see. Oh, that's super opaque. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I, I don't know. I was kind of hoping it was going to be a little more subtle. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. I look like the queen of hearts right now. <laughs> because it's a lip tint if you mess up you're kind of like SOL it applies and it looks really bold and like crazy at first but once you keep like kind of blending it into your lips you can see that it's just kind of like a tint on your lips 
because I can still actually see my lips. So it's actually not as opaque as I thought it was originally. You just kind of have to blend it out. That's a pretty unique product. I'd love to see the other colors because I'm not crazy about this color. You guys know I, t I tend to stay away from like pink shades, like super pinky kind of colors. Not my thing. So, but the texture and the formula of this is really unique. So I'd love to try other shades from them. But let's top it off with the Velvet Matte Lipstick in Bold Berry. I apply that terribly you guys. I look like a vampire now like I have blood dripping down the sides of my lips because I don't know how to apply lipstick guys. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can use the elf makeup remover pen to clean this up. Let's see. Let's see if I can do this. Oh that's pretty cool. It's super pretty super creamy and Oh wait, velvet matte. Was that supposed to dry matte? Because my lips are definitely not matte. But I do have that lip tint underneath, so I don't know if that affects it. Let's do a swatch and see if it like dries matte. I mean, I think the lipstick is beautiful and I love the formula. It feels very comfortable and hydrating on the lips. But if you are looking for a matte lipstick, this, this is not matte. So that's it for this makeup tutorial, trying out all the new products from e.l.f. Cosmetics. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below and if there was a product here that really stood out to you that you may want to pick up and try out. Definitely love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Overall, I think e.l.f. is a really good quality brand. I don't think they're talked about enough on YouTube. I really do like their products. I will say though, my honest opinion, I'd probably skip out on the baked products from them, the eyeshadows and the highlighter, just because there is pigment there and it's very subtle and like very natural and beautiful. But I don't know, to me it's just not wow enough that if I were to walk through the store and see these, I would actually just pass on these altogether. But I will tell you, this eyeshadow palette, the Mad for Matte 2, I really do like. I think it has great pigmentation. Again, you have to work a little harder to blend it out, but the pigmentation is great and the colors are beautiful and I love this combination of colors. They're just so, so pretty. And you know what? Surprisingly, this little face palette, the blush and bronzer are so, so pretty. And the highlighters are beautiful and super pigmented and like wow in your face. So I definitely recommend trying out these HD highlighting powders because I think they're so cool as well as the lip products. I think this Radiant Gel Lip Tint is super, super cool. Again, I would want to try another color, but I think it's cool. The texture is really unique, and I think it'd be fun to wear on like a summer day. Yeah, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And if you guys would like to see more, you can follow me on my daily vlog channel, which is Jack Jack Vlogs. I do vlog daily, so every single day there will be a new video over there. And you can follow me on my social media sites. I am Jack Jack on everything, so spelt the same way. Jack, 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 Jack. You can find me. And I think that's about it. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!